with the frequent military takeovers, takeover in the African continent, especially West Africa. In recent times, President Adam Barro, while delivering his speech at Gambia's 58 years of independence celebration, says schools in Africa are a hindrance to the continent's development. In the Gambia, four soldiers and a police officer are currently facing trial after being accused of a coup plot against the democratically elected Adam Barro government. Maria Macha has more details of that in this report. Several African countries, including Mali, Guinea, and Burkina Faso, are currently being manned by a military junta following the unconstitutional change of governments in respective countries. In December 2022, the government of the Gambia also announced an alleged failed coup by some members of the Gambia Armed Forces who wanted to overthrow the Adam Barrow government. The alleged coup plotters are since facing trial on different counts including treason at the country's high court in Banjul. While addressing Gambians on the country's 58 years of independence, President Adam Barrow said there are other means to unseat a sitting government which according to him must be in line with rule of law and stability. Barrow observed that the Gambia has overcome what he described as fear and instability as he cited the effects of coups and unconstitutional uprisings on the continent. He also indicates that the consistent coup plots in Africa are not a solution to its development but rather hinders the continent's progress. Peace, stability and development go together. Hence, a common characteristic of the strongest nations is stability. They have overcome the fear and incidents of instability, particularly through military takeovers and unconstitutional uprisings. In contracts, conflicts and military takeovers persistently hinder Africa's development. Often sections of a nation rejoice when there is a military takeover, but it is always short life. Throwing seats on the recent alleged coup plot in the Gambia, President Adam Obaro ordered citizens, especially those in uniform, to rise against conflict and war. People must rise against the horrors of wars, conflicts and unrest beginning with the gallant citizens in uniform. We have noted that in recent years, the elite in African armies have stayed away from unconstitutional actions. This should now filter down to all ranks within every army on the continent. The Gambian leader also reminisces on the commitment shown by the Gambian people when they decided to unseat the former regime of President Yaya Jame through legal means by using the ballot box for a change. As we did in 2016, there are legal and democratic and constitutional ways of removing unpopular government, governments. So there is no wisdom in choosing paths that lead to unrest and destruction. As we internally manage the affairs of our dear nation, we must also look inward with more patriotic vigor and unite to strengthen internal Security. Just recently, Ghanaian President Nana Kufu Addo urged the international community to send a clear message to coup plotters that coups have never been and will never be durable solutions to Africa's political, economic, and security challenges. Reporting for iAfrican News, I am Mariama Cham.